Hey everyone, this is Christine Vallis and I wanted to pop on the internet this weekend and share some fresh revelation that I've received from the Lord from the book of Esther. And this weekend we are entering into the Feast of Purim, so I thought it was perfect timing to share this revelation with you. And you know, we have been marinating here in the month of Adar for almost two months now. And the Lord, when we marinate and we rest in Him, He not only gives us strength and joy in His presence, but He gives us fresh revelation, right? And so this revelation that I found in the book of Esther is the theme of rest. It's a theme that I never really saw before here in this book. And and I saw it, the more I, I saw the theme, the more it was jumping out at me. And I encourage you, as you read through the book of Esther, to look for this theme of rest. And, you know, I saw it there in Mordecai as he was resting, sitting at the king's gate. When Haman walked by, he he stayed in his seat. He did not stand up and bow down before him, but he stayed seated in the confidence and love of God. And even Esther, when she was preparing the banquets, she sat seated on the couch, right? Not just once, but twice. And she remained seated before she revealed her identity as a Jew and even the identity of the evil Haman. She gave all that information from a place of rest. And we know, of course, what happened at the end of the book in uh, chapter 9, verse 22. It says that these days of Purim were to be celebrated because the Jews have found rest from all of their enemies and that their mourning turned to joy. And of course, you know, we know that that is just a foreshadow of what Jesus has done for us, right? The enemy has been defeated because Jesus died and rose again for us. So we have peace with God. We have rest with God. And all we have to do is enter into that rest, right? Well, you know, the more I thought about the theme of rest and I was looking at Esther, Esther, right? And I thought, rest, and Esther, they, they so go together. And I, I, I just simply put an R in front of her name and it says, rest her. And I felt like the Lord was just saying, this is my heart. I've done all this to bring you rest. I want my beloved to have rest, to enter into his rest, right? And what did Jesus say? Come to me, all ye who are heavy laden, heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. So I hope this blesses you as you enter into Purim this weekend. Enter into the feast and enter into his rest and great love for you. Blessings.